Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So, big week, lots of work on the airplane, on the RV-10 this week. So, as you can see, we're closing out and finishing the... I believe that's the left elevator, right elevator, one of the elevators. Um, whatever the last one was there. And uh, the tail cone is assembled, uh, mostly. And we're finishing out uh, the little pieces there. So this is the first assembly, um, as you may have noticed usually well for the uh, pre um, final punched RVs so everything except for the 12 and the 14 you assemble everything once um, you final drill or I use a, an actually I use a reamer and you final drill to the final size um, all of the holes every single hole um, and some of the things you drill like you just saw me drilling the longer ons there um, and uh, then you disassemble everything, you deburr it all, and uh, you remove any remaining plastic, which you can see me doing there, and deburring those skins. And uh, then you dimple everything, and I, I prime. Uh, a lot of people don't prime. Uh, there's a lot of debate on prime versus not prime. And then you finally uh, rivet it all together. So what you're seeing here is I'm doing that, that first step of assembling everything and uh, drilling all the holes and um, getting everything sort of to fit. Um, so that's what we're doing there. So that's the f sort of the finished first assembly of the tail cone. And uh, you can see me drilling all the holes, moving Clicos around. I was short a number of Clicos, so I borrowed some uh, from a number of uh, airplane buddies in the area and some, uh, some out of the area. So thank you for that. And uh, so you'll see there's a lot of sitting around. <laughs> um, the the tail cone is in the way. The couch, you can see in the little window there, the couch is uh, just off to the left on the screen. And I'm uh, dimpling things on the couch as we go. So yeah, so here, just getting everything ready. Um, deburring, dimpling, and uh, yeah, getting ready to prime and get things out there. Um, those were those little black things were pads, tool pads for the uh, new toolbox that I picked up. But anyway, okay, so these are the tops of the um, tops of the tail cone uh, that I was deburring and getting ready, and now I'm you can see me deburring all of these parts and sitting on the couch and dimpling them. Um, I'm using the pneumatic dimpler, which is on the, it's the red thing on the couch right now and uh, it just makes life a lot easier. So just disassembling everything, it's, it's interesting. It, it, it feels like you save, that's the big time savings of the RV-14, I believe, is the maybe 30% of the time that you save from not having to do that, fi that first assembly. Um, I, I wish they would uh, um, RV-14 eyes a lot of the other kits, but I realize that that's a lot of retooling and checking of plans for kits that are selling well enough <laughs> but uh, we can hope so we're scuffing all of the parts here we've got that huge pile of parts on the left there on the on the little white table and we're scuffing everything and getting everything ready to to prime and uh, at some point in that evening I believe that was the 21st uh, Thursday or Friday um, yep, there we go. I'm going to start priming everything and I go through two big cans of or 3M PPS cups of uh, primer and as usual I underestimate and I do one and then I need more time and then I do another. So, and again, the next morning, um, so assembling uh, and riveting a number of the bulkheads that are now primed and spraying what's left. There wasn't a ton left to spray that day but uh, we did manage to make a ton of progress and it looks like now all of the uh, sort of bulkheads and small parts are primed and dimpled and just ready to assemble so this coming week we will be priming all of the skins and starting to rivet as usual thanks for watching please comment we'll talk soon